Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Today, I have a very, very, very random haul for you guys. Basically, to keep this intro nice and short and sweet, I will just say this. I am a new mom. Our son, Landon, just turned two months old and I am currently breastfeeding him. I nurse him about eight to 10, sometimes 12 times a day. At least one, two, or sometimes even three of those feedings happen between the hours of 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. I am very, very sleepy during those hours of the wee morning. So I go on my phone to kind of keep myself awake and keep myself from falling asleep. While I am on my phone, I fall victim to all of the Instagram sponsored ads and I did some damage. So this is an entire haul of all the stuff that I purchased basically at 4 o'clock a.m. while breastfeeding. Enjoy! So I have to start with the item that I get the most questions about. It is this necklace right here, it says Landon on it. I got this off of FraserSterling.com. I will link it in the description below. I will try to link everything that I'm talking about in the description below, but it is this necklace right here. I found it while I was breastfeeding. I really, really loved it, talked to Adam about it, and he was like, oh, I was gonna buy you one of those for Mother's Day. So I just sent him the link and he purchased it for me, but I found it while I was breastfeeding. It is so cute, it is my favorite accessory I have ever had in my entire life if you guys want to purchase it just throwing this out there it does take a very long time to get to your house I thought it was a scam at first because it was like five weeks until it actually came to my house or I even got shipping notification but it is all handmade of course they have to put all the letters on it doesn't seem that complicated but it did take a very long time for it to process but when it did get to my house which it did eventually get to my house I love it it's so cute I just oh, it's my favorite accessory I've ever owned next up is this dress that I am wearing officially my new favorite summer dress for 2019 this was under $25 on Amazon Prime I am obsessed with Amazon fashion lately cannot quit it like honestly it's so good it's so cheap and the quality is so nice so again I will link this in the description below I'm gonna sound like a broken record so I'll just link everything that I possibly can in the description below if you guys would like to get any of them for yourselves I have a picture of this on my Instagram insert right here if you would like to see exactly what it looks like on but this dress let me tell you it's so nice <laughs> I want to go get a bunch more in different colors it's just so lightweight it's really good quality and it's really really cute We're just gonna keep going on with Amazon fashion. I'm going in no particular order. I'm sure there's so many more things that I purchased off of Amazon in this haul. I'm just grabbing things as I go. But the next thing that I purchased off of Amazon, again, I think this was under $25 as well. There also is a picture of this on my Instagram if you would like to check it out. But it is this beautiful, summery, sunflower, dress it has like ruching up here so it's nice and tight and then it flows out it is so pretty it gives me such old school taylor swift vibes i know that sounds weird but i just want to like super super curl my hair and get extensions and wear this out with some like cowboy boots it just gives me massive taylor swift vibes and then it has little spaghetti straps up top next up from amazon i haven't even opened this one up yet I saw this one all over my Instagram like every time I went on Instagram this thing was being promoted it was being sponsored from this company that I don't even know who they are I looked up reviews on that company and they had very very bad reviews so I searched it up on Amazon and I found something very similar and it's so cute it is this little leopard print dress it has these long flowy sleeves so freaking cute it's nice and long and it gives me major animal kingdom vibes i'm going to disney in november if all goes well and i'm definitely planning on wearing this dress in animal kingdom another amazon find love this sweater i'm filming this on july 3rd tomorrow is july 4th and your girl is bringing this to her 4th of july party 
for the fireworks portion of the night when it gets a little bit cooler. Look at how cute this is. It is a little crop sweater that says USA. The hood is red, so stinking cute. And then right over here, there is an American flag patch very good quality and I believe this was under $25 as well. I talked about this on my Instagram story the other day. I did just have a baby. My body, I'm still like working on, you know, just working on it because I just had a baby. Never thought I would be able to wear crop tops again, but guys, if you are nursing, crop tops are where it is at. I have been nursing in crop tops for the past like week. I'll just wear like high-waisted shorts or high-waisted pants and then I have a crop top and it is just so easy to lift up and nurse land in. So I am all about crop tops as of recently. But look how cute this is with all of like the red, white, and blue. Such good quality as well. Like Amazon, Amazon has upped their game. Amazon is basically taking over the world. That's all I'm going to say. Amazon is taking over the world and I'm here for it. So I'm very interested to know in the comments, what does your Instagram promote for you? I know it like listens to you and your phone listens to what you're talking about and then your ads will show up based on what you are talking about with your family and your friends and your loved ones. Mine always promotes this United Monograms, but I never ever talk about United Monograms. So I want to know if you guys get this ad as well or if it is just me. So I got this ad for United Monograms like a billion times and I was like, all right, I'll check it out. And I really liked it. So you know what, Instagram, your strategy is working. Your algorithm, you're doing a good job. So I saw this one and it had a donut on it. It is a little pink sweater. I get it oversized because I like my sweaters to be nice and cozy and nice and roomy. But I got the one that has a donut because obviously. <laughs> And then I just had it monogrammed with AMC for my name. The color is so cute. It's really, really nice. And I already tried this one on. It's super, super comfy. It was a little bit pricier, but you get what you pay for. I think the quality is really, really nice on this one. And again, it's like a full stitch monogram. It's not just like a press on one where you can just like iron it on. It's legit stitched on. I'll give you a closer look of what it looks like but it was well worth the money for me. I think this is going to be my new go-to sweater. This shirt means a lot to me, so not to get too deep in this video, I want this to be a very happy, fun video, but when you have a baby, you sometimes go through those baby blues, and I went through those baby blues hard like really really hard for a solid two week it felt like depression again and it was just really really difficult while I was going through that and trying to just get myself in a better state I saw this on a website I don't remember what the website is called I will remember it and put it in the description below I think it's called self care is for everyone it's an Instagram page and it was promoted for me at the most perfect time and they just have a ton a ton of beautiful quotes, inspiring quotes, uplifting quotes, things to just make you like really feel good. And then they also have a shop, also wear this one on my Instagram if you wanna check it out and see what it looks like on. But it just says mental health matters and it has a little brain in the middle and it kinda has like a pastel rainbow vibe to it. It just came at the exact perfect time for me. Luckily, my baby blues only lasted about two weeks and then I felt so much better. I feel for people who go through them like longer or harder than I did. It's a very common part of postpartum, but it's really, really difficult, let me tell you. I cried every day for like two weeks. Now I'm in a much better state, but I found this Instagram page, started following them, Every time they post something, it just makes me feel so good inside, and I was so happy to support them by buying this sweater, the sweater, this t-shirt, and I love wearing it. It's very, very soft as well. And the message is just incredible, because mental health is just as important as physical health, in my personal opinion. Another Amazon find. Shocker, now keep this one in mind because there's something very special about this sweater that I will share with you later. It might just look 
like a random Mickey Mouse sweater because it is just a random Mickey Mouse sweater. It is from Absolute Cult, but just keep this sweater in mind. It smells really bad, like really, really bad. I haven't worn it yet. Definitely gonna have to wash this before I actually wear it. It's just a very basic gray crew neck sweater with Mickey Mouse on it. But I'll share with you something in just a little bit that's gonna make all the more sense to you. <laughs> Amazon, take all my money. Just, just take all of it. I bought a pair of sneakers off of Amazon. Love these. The story behind these, when I was pregnant, my last month I was very, very swollen. My feet were very, very swollen. So Adam and I went to a JCPenney and I found these exact sneakers in like this olive green color purchased them and they were the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn. They made my feet feel so, so good. So I ended up finding them on Amazon. I wanted the black and white pair, found them on Amazon and they were actually like $20 cheaper on Amazon than what I spent at JCPenney. So I bought a pair of sneakers. Not mad at this purchase at all. Not mad at all. So comfy, favorite sneakers ever. But wait, if you thought I just bought the Adidas sneakers, you are very wrong. I, of course, had to get the joggers to go with them. Because why not? I literally had to cut myself off of Instagram. I don't even allow myself to go on Instagram anymore when I am nursing Landon. I downloaded, I think it's called Toy Story Drop. It's like one of those little like bubble games that you can play and I downloaded that and I only allow myself to play that now in the wee hours of the morning because your girl is out of control and I have no self-control. I went on and I bought a pair of joggers. I don't need these, but I really did want them and they're very, very comfortable. And these give me like fall vibes. So I'm gonna get use out of them. It was $30, which I don't think is that terrible, but I had to cut myself off of going on Instagram and going on websites where they would promote items because I don't have any self-control as you guys can probably tell in this video. But I'm really happy with this purchase. I bought not one, but two pairs of novelty sunglasses off of Amazon. I think half of my time was spent on Instagram and half of my time was spent on Amazon and I've cut myself off of both of them between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. So the first pair of novelty sunglasses that I purchased are these obnoxiously adorable heart sunnies. How cute. I never thought that I could pull these off, but you know what? I had a little conversation with myself when I was looking through all of those self-care is for everyone Instagram posts and I was like, you know what? If you wanna rock heart sunnies, you rock heart sunnies, Allison. You can do whatever you want. So I purchased these heart sunnies and I think that they're very, very cute. The next pair, if you thought that those are obnoxious, wait until you see these. I follow this Instagram account, Zoe Dokus. I probably pronounced that wrong. I will put it in the description. She rocks the most obnoxiously amazing sunglasses and I saw this in her post. She put the little link on where to buy them and I bought them because that's what I do. Check these out guys. Look at these. They're like star studded glasses and they look really cute on. I'm like so into these right now. So these are the two sunglasses that I purchased. You can be honest, they look ridiculous, but they look ridiculously awesome. Toy Story Toyography. So another thing that I have a really big self-control issue with is when all of you guys send me things that you think that I would like. I think that you guys know me so, so well. And somebody actually sent this to me. Chelsea Schwartz actually sent this to me in a message while I was nursing. I opened it up. She was like, hey, I think that you would really like this. Guess what? I really liked it. And if you guys are unfamiliar with like my channel too much, my nursery for Landon, Landon's nursery is all Toy Story themed. You guys can check it out. I have a little Toy Story nursery tour here on my channel. It is my dream nursery. It came out so, so good if I do say so myself. And she knows that I'm a huge Toy Story fan, favorite Pixar movie of ever. So she sent me the link to this and I purchased it. So it is a little Toy Story book. It's really, really pretty, extremely colorful. It is one of those books where you can kind of like 
pull things out, open little flaps. So I did buy this. We do books every single day with Landon. We try to do about two to five books per day with Landon. Obviously this one is a little advanced for him, but he will grow into it. So thank you, Chelsea. I love it so, so much. Speaking of books, this book gives me all the feels. This one was promoted on my Instagram. I was looking up a bunch of baby things right when Landon was born. And this is one of the first Instagram sponsored ads that I fell victim to. It is the baby's first year, a simple book of first. And I think it's by Lucy, Lucy Darling, lucydarling.com, made in the USA. This is the cutest book of first. So let me open it up and give you guys a little a little taste of what it has to offer so it just I don't even know what it says right now because I'm looking at it backwards but basically it gives you like first month second month third month all the way up until like year one and then it goes like year one year two year three etc you put pictures it tells you we'll never forget on four months old you love it four months old you can at four months old you don't like it four months old and they do that for every single month I just love the theming all the little rainbows they have all different themes this is the one that I liked the most then they have pictures and dates for your first car ride, first doctor's visit, you can sit up, etc. It's just so cute. Over here is your first Valentine's Day, first Mother's Day, first Cinco de Mayo, first St. Patrick's Day, etc. etc. I think it's just gonna be such a nice little keepsake book. It's nice and hardcover, really great quality. So thank you, Lucy Darling, for popping up on my Instagram feed. Well worth it. It was at this time that I Allison knew that I had a problem. It was at this time where I, Allison, had to cut myself off of Instagram in the wee hours of the morning. I bought a waffle maker. A waffle maker. A $70 waffle maker. I have five waffle makers at home. But I bought another one off of Shop Disney because it makes Mickey waffles, mini Mickey waffles, like you can get in the parks. I follow Fairy Tale Foodie, awesome account, love her Instagram page for Disney inspiration. And she had mentioned that this was back in stock on shopdisney.com. So I purchased it. And I'm not even mad about it. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of myself. To go along with this Mickey True Original Waffle Maker, I also purchased Landon, the cutest little onesie. Again, Toy Story themed. I got him this alien onesie. I got him size six to nine months, so he's gonna have to grow into this. But look how cute this is. It's a little onesie, and then it has the alien hat to go with it. Then I went to an outlet, so I didn't buy this one while I was nursing, but I went to the outlets with my family and they have a Disney store at the outlets near us. So I bought, they're all stuck together. I also bought a Woody and a Buzz to go along with the alien one because you have to have Woody and you have to have Buzz. So here is the little Buzz onesie. Also got this in six to nine, which is perfect. It'll be like fall-ish slash winter time. So it'll be a lot cooler for him to wear it. And I got him a little Woody onesie. I cannot wait until he can wear these. They're so cute. Also, while I was at the outlets, again, not something that I bought while I was breastfeeding, but figured I would just share it in this haul because it is just a massive haul of all the things that I've purchased as of recently. I bought this really cute patriotic, it's kind of like one of those head scarves. You wear them either as a bandana or you can wear it as a ponytail holder, whatever. Fourth of July is tomorrow, so I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow. This is from Old Navy. And then I also bought these shoes from Guess, trying to up my shoe game a little bit. I feel like I wear very boring shoes, so I'm trying to get like more color into my wardrobe and I found these shoes from Guess. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find these online to link them below because it is an outlet. So usually these are like last year style or styles that they're trying to get rid of because they're at the outlets and they're at like very discounted prices. But I just really, really like these. Again, I wanna wear these for 4th of July. Right here, okay, so here's what they look like. They're just like those cork bottom shoes and they have two little red straps on each foot. Forever 21 haul. Here we go. The cutest 
dress. I hope it fits. I haven't tried pretty much any of this stuff on yet. It is this rainbow stripe dress and I really hope it fits. If I have time, and again, I'm a new mom and I'm shocked that I even have this time right now to be able to film. Adam's home right now, so he's with Landon. But if I do have time, I will try to try them all on, no guarantees. But hopefully I'll be able to do like a small little try on haul with all the clothing items so you can see what they look like. But this is the dress. It's a nice long rainbow stripe maxi dress. What I like is the back, it has um, spaghetti straps on it, but in the back it has this little crisscross number where you can tighten it or loosen it. Because again, my body's under construction right now. It's probably gonna be changing daily. So I got this dress from Forever. I also purchased this dress and it looks massive massive so I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this one but it is just it looks like denim but it's not it's just like a blue denim like cotton and it's just really really low I figured I would wear like a white spaghetti strap underneath it it's just really cute but it just looks real real big I know it's supposed to be flowy but it's real flowy next up I purchased I purchased this shirt Crop top again, your girl's all about the crop tops right now, but it is a tie-dye Alice in Wonderland crop top. And it is, hands down, the best tie-dye print I have ever seen in all of my life. So I'm gonna be wearing this immediately, and I'm definitely planning on bringing this to Florida when we go to Disney. And last up, I just bought some like boring stuff I'm not even gonna show you some biker shorts, and some white and black crop tops. Very basic. Okay, remember that basic gray crew neck Mickey Mouse sweater that I purchased off of Amazon? Let's talk about the H&M haul. It's all going to make sense now. First and foremost, if you are a mother, H&M has the cutest kids clothes. And on top of being the cutest kids, cl kids clothes, kids clothes, they have the cutest Disney kids clothes ever. So I bought just an obnoxious amount of kids clothes for Landon, like bags and bags and bags full. The first one being a little mini Mickey Mouse sweater. So I plan on twinning with Landon hard when he can fit into the sweater. I think I got him size 12, so 12 months. So eventually he's gonna be able to fit in this. Now we're gonna be twinning. I hope that he can fit into this when we're in Disney and we can take like a really cute mommy son picture in front of the castle. I'm trying to get one for Adam as well and we can just take like a really cute family photo in front of the castle. So this is the first thing that I purchased for him. Next thing that I purchased, I purchased him all sizes that are like much bigger. He's gonna have to grow into all of them, but it is this little Winnie the Pooh onesie to go along with these cute little Winnie the Pooh jogger pants and this cute little Winnie the Pooh hat. Then I also bought him along the same lines this Mickey Mouse print onesie to go along with these Mickey Mouse joggers and go along with this Mickey Mouse hat. Then I purchased him, I haven't even opened these ones yet, I purchased him another jogger set. This one's in like a mint green color. So you have the little sweater. It's like this mint green sweater and it has Mickey ears on it. And it goes along with these adorable Mickey Mouse joggers. They're so cute, H&M, work. Then I purchased him. I don't even remember what I purchased to be honest with you. This little Mickey Mouse teal t-shirt and it goes along with this little gray bib and then just a pair of gray jogger pants to go along with it. 
Next up, I think these are two onesies, I believe. Yeah, so these are two onesies. Also that like baby blue teal color. This one's so cute and it has Mickey Mouse all over it. And then this one is just a big Mickey Mouse face right in the center. And the last thing that I purchased from H&M for Landon, I have a Disney problem, I apologize, is another little sweater, but it's like very red, white, and blue patriotic Mickey. H&M, sponsor me, please. If you are an Office fan, you will totally dig this next purchase. I bought this as part of Adam's Father's Day gift. So it is a t-shirt and his says, oh wait, I'll show you Landon's first, it'll make more sense. So Landon's little onesie says, Regional Manager Dunder Mifflin. And then Adam's shirt says, Assistant to the Regional Manager Dunder Mifflin. Of course, Landon is the manager in our house right now. And Adam is the assistant manager. And I'll be honest with you, they have another shirt for dogs and I'm thinking I'm going to get it for Jax and it says assistant to the assistant to the regional manager and then I have to get one for myself and we can take like a big family photo. There are a couple items left in this massive haul. If you guys are still with me, give yourself a little pat on the back. You are the real MVP. The next couple of items come from Target. I don't even know if I did Target already. I just, I just have a problem. So. I got this really cute mustard yellow dress. It's so adorable. It's a very low v-neck. So I also bought this white little crop top to put underneath it. I really like the t-shirt look underneath the dresses lately. I think it's a very, very cute look. And then it also has this little belt that you kind of just like ruche it all together and it's short. It goes like right below your knees. So I got this really bright, super summery dress. I also got these shoes that I've been wearing in my Instagram and just wearing all the way around town. They're really cute. They're just flat and they just cross over and they are tan. So they go with pretty much everything. And then I got myself a pair of these high heels, which I also think are so cute. I like never really wear high heels anymore and I want to get back into it because it just makes me feel taller and it makes me feel really, really good about myself. So I purchased these also from Target. If you follow me on Instagram, this little number might look familiar to you. There's a funny story behind this. This is the final straw. This showed up at my doorstep. I opened up the package and I was like, I don't even remember ordering this. That is when I knew like, yo, you need to calm down and you need to chill out. So I ordered this apparently, assuming while I was breastfeeding, I don't even remember ordering it. It showed up at my doorstep. It's really cute. I'm really happy that I ordered it because I've been wanting one of these reusable straws and this one's really, really cute. So it's just the final straw. Haven't even opened it up yet. You just pull it out of here. I'm gonna try to do this. Whoa. <laughs> okay then. So this is what it looks like. It has a nice little like iridescent rainbow look to it. That was wild. So you have your final straw. You have something right in there to clean it. How do you put this back together now? Yeah, so that's all you do. You just kind of like fold it all up and then throw it in here and then shut it. I mean, well done, Allison. And last, but definitely, definitely not least, no haul is complete without, can you fill in the blank? Do you know what I'm going to be showing next? No YouTube haul is complete without some candles. Yes, I purchased candles. I purchased not one, not two, not even three or four. I purchased five candles because Yankee Candle was having a crazy good sale. Five for $55. So you're getting these for $11 a piece and they're regularly, I think these are like $27 regularly. They don't have a price on them, of course, but I think that these are like $27 and I am recently obsessed with the Yankee Candle candles. They burn for so long. They smell so good, but more importantly, they burn for so long. Love Bath and Body Works candles, but I feel like I go through them within a week. These I can keep up for like a month and consistently burn them, and it takes a really long time. So I bought a couple of scents for the fall because fall is my absolute 
favorite and then I bought some for right now. So I bought Juicy Watermelon. Hopefully my camera will focus. Juicy Watermelon. I purchased Farmer's Market, which smells so good. It smells just like you would expect fall to smell. Don't know if my camera's focusing, but you guys get the idea. Buttercream, which is pretty much good for any time of the year. I also purchased, this one is for the fall specific, it is apple spice and it has a picture of an apple spice donut on it. And the last one that I purchased is maple pancakes. So I'm just pretty much upping my fall game right now and just getting ready for the best season that there ever was. And that is it for this haul, this really, really long, really, really random haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really can't wait to start wearing and using all of these items, but I'm more excited to not be wasting so much money every single time I breastfeed. I definitely gained a little bit of self-control. I love you guys so, so much. I hope they're having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all your support here on my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful start to your summer and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys.